Yeah, we're a family operation. Lacey Livestock started uh, way back uh, when my dad was uh, still alive and uh, we formed it when I was 16 years old. My son now is uh, very active. Mark is uh, uh, particularly in, in the program with the Hereford Association. He pretty much uh, really um, uh, ramrodded the whole thing and I uh, of course had uh, some acting, uh, activities in it and uh, of course uh, worked with Craig and, and the Hereford Association. So Lacey Livestock started way back and uh, our family's been involved in uh, the Hereford uh, cattle uh, really way back in my dad's uh, generation. He was a, a pure Hereford organization. Partnership for Quality is the first line of the story and we started that, Dave Wood and uh, Harris Feeding Company and myself uh, when I was president of, uh, of the National Cattlemen's Association. We did lots of research in alliances and uh, consequently what came out of it here on the West Coast in the Harris Feeding Company's uh, alliance, Partnership for Quality, uh, d was derived uh, with an Angus base and uh, getting the alliance put together. Now there's some place, it, it varies from 45,000 to 50,000 cows. Uh, we fell over a period of about uh, eight to nine years. Uh, most of the people who entered Partnership for Quality um, were crossbred background operations. Uh, we, we, of course, after the eight or 10 years, uh, we were discussing what we could derive from heterosis and of course that brings in the discussion of whether what breeds we might need or what we needed to do to continue that that was a benefit to uh, partnership for quality and also benefited uh, the breeders who put the cattle or brought the calves into partnership for quality. Then the discussions started out you know what can we do and one thing would be to bring in a breed uh, and experiment a little bit with it as to its attributes and contributions towards partnership for quality. It uh, generated interest in my part uh, to suggest that maybe we uh, bring in the Hereford breed and see where we could come. We've always been strong advocates in partnership for quality for uniformity and uh, with the English breed of, of Hereford and Angus, you get that. So uh, uh, that's where we started, and that's why we uh, chose Herefords as far as our part of the experimental program of introducing heterosis with Hereford cattle on our Angus cows. One of the reasons we really wanted to go into the program is to get those Hereford females back into our uh, cow herd and uh, we've, we've been very, very satisfied with, with those Hereford cross cows, the black bollies that have come into our, our herd. What we have experienced is exactly what we thought we'd get and expected to get. Overall, uh, the program has shown that there's greater um, uh, return on investment uh, with the crossbred cattle. Uh, they actually came out uh, making more money in the feed yard and all the way through than the straight bred Angus cattle. And I think people's eyes have opened up. I, I think you have to hand it to the, the, the leaders in, in the Hereford breeders and, into the, and the leadership in the Hereford Association that has certainly brought to light what they needed to do to get back on the map. I think you're well on your way to giving us the kind of seed stock to buy uh, on these commercial ranches that will certainly uh, not necessarily having to do with, with the partnership for quality, but, but out in the country where there's a, a lot of Angus cattle, I think uh, you're gonna find a great demand for the bull, Hereford bulls and uh, getting back to the heterosis that they bring and to the qualities uh, that the Hereford breed has always been noted for. Well, I, I think the, the use of heterosis, we've long suspected that it had tremendous benefits to us, and this project went, to, went along to prove that to us, to show that we had some benefits as far as pregnancy rates, as far as calf health, 
um, and, so, and things like that, specifically those that affect me as a veterinarian, um, were things that we were able to prove some things that we suspected for a long time. With the introduction of the, the other breed, the Hereford breed, and the baldy calves, I think we've seen a significant improvement in the health of these calves uh, prior to the feedlot and also you know, um, after arrival at the feedlot as well. We sat down and said, can we design a project that shows the value of crossbreeding? And credit to the Hereford Association, they said, sure, we'll help because we think it's important to see those bulls under your conditions, range conditions in the West, large operations, and see what the data is. So I appreciate the fact they stepped up and said, you know, we aren't afraid of the information. We want to look at what the results are. Clearly, the things you would expect to have an advantage do, things like feed efficiency, cost of gain in particular, average daily gain. Ultimately, the bottom line is there's been an economic advantage of return at the feedlot, clear through, the, through what I would call a vertically coordinated system um, in terms of dollar return to the producer for a crossbred product. But we got 7% more pregnancy in those compared to this predominantly straight bred Angus. That's a huge long-term value back to the system. I'm s satisfied that everybody's conclusion is there's hardly a better cow than a black bolly cow.